Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So I've got Smartphone Conversations Monday news coming up right now. So let's get into it. First thing on the chopping block today is the Axon 7S. Now this phone right here is a phone that's not leaked out, uh, but it kind of just came out. Um, ZTE didn't really, and it's not really for the US, so there's not much, you know, there's, there's really not a leak. Uh, but the information that I have on it, it has two cameras now, which is kind of crazy, but it has a 20 megapixel and a 12 megapixel as well. So um, that is actually pretty decent. Um, if you know, I say that because I'm not really a fan of um, dual cameras, I guess I want to say. I don't really see the purpose yet. Um, it's, unless it's an LG device, you know, the wide angle lens, you know, I've said that plenty of times, but um, it does have dual cameras, a 20 and a 12. And uh, uh, the 20 megapixel, I think is the one that's at 1.8 aperture. So it should be pretty good. And it's got an eight megapixel on the front. So same thing as before. Uh, it doesn't say anything about stereo sound. It says loudspeaker. So based on the photos that I see here, it actually doesn't have the front facing speakers, but I, you know, I haven't seen a real one, so I don't know does have six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs on board storage with an SD card slot. And it has the Snapdragon 821 with a 3,400 milliamp hour battery. Nonetheless, that's an impressive device. Uh, release date is May, so May 2017. So it should be here and it's actually already for sale in some places, I believe, but this is, it doesn't have the LTE bands for the US. Uh, this might work on AT&T LTE, might, might work. I don't know for sure though, uh, but it does have that quad HD display, 5.5 inches, um, 7.9 millimeters in thickness, 151 grams, pretty pretty nice phone. Uh, the 3400 milliamp hour battery is gonna be impressive though. Uh, but nonetheless, it is here, and it's a phone that's, that's out there that we could possibly get. So the next thing on the chopping block is the also famous new HTC device. Now we don't officially know the name of it yet, uh, we don't know what it's going to be called officially, but, you know, rumors suggest the HTC Ocean, the HTC 11, the HTC U11. There's all different kinds of things floating around, but the fact is, the fact is, it's coming. The announcement is going to be on May 16th, so make sure you're tuning in to check that out. I think that's going to be pretty interesting, and I think it's going to be uh, something that I think we're all going to be excited about, probably. At least I know I will. Um... And, you know, hopefully, it, you know, it has a Snapdragon 835, rumors say, you know, rumors say a 5.5 inch display, but HTC is actually giving us a tease on their Twitter account. So we should have hit their Twitter account and you can see the squeeze thing. They're giving us a tease of the squeeze. So the sides are going to have some kind of um, motion or squeeze, you know, to, you can do gestures like turn on the camera, I guess, or launch the applications. I don't know yet. I haven't had any officially official hands, hands on, uh, but... Uh, this whatever this device is it is coming and it's going to be announced on May 16th So be sure to tune in for that I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for some of these things that I actually actually have a link for uh, But if not Google is your friend next the iPhone 8 um, Slash iPhone X whatever the case is so remember when I talked about um, How that phone is supposed to have that I thought which I think is an ugly design for the camera <sighs> Deep breath Looks like that is an official render. Now, again, these are still leaks and rumors at this point, but the fact is, this looks like where they're going. And um, just because I don't think it looks good, doesn't mean it's not gonna be a success. I'm just giving my personal opinion on it. I don't think I like the way that looks at the moment. I have to actually physically get it in hand, and you know how that goes. Um, another thing along the lines of the iPhone 8, while that design may be official, and whatever the iPhone is gonna be called, iPhone 8, I don't know the new generation iPhone that's been leaking everywhere. Here's what also has come out on the internet. that, And this is coming out of Foxconn. You know, they, they work with Apple for their products. Supposedly it's not even gonna be released this year. Now that doesn't mean there's not gonna be an iPhone this year. There'll probably be the iPhone 7S and the iPhone 7S Plus, uh, keeping with tradition of Apple, you know. But the iPhone 8 deals, for, according to Foxconn, not coming out in 2017, 2018. So who knows? Um, next on the chopping block is the LG G6. Now the LG G6, LG G6 is a fantastic phone. However, there's another version of that Bruin and it's the LG G6 mini. Now I don't really consider it to be a mini because it has a 5.4 inch display, 
But if the body of the phone is actually really small, like a five inch phone's body or you know, a 5.2 inch phone's body, this could be something. Like if it has a really small body, but it still has a 5.4 inch display, they could be onto something. Now that can, could, be, could be considered a mini, I think. I don't know for sure, but that could be considered a mini. Uh, but nonetheless, that thing is coming uh, and it's, it's rumored. I should say it's rumored, I shouldn't say it's coming, it's rumored. Remember, Google is your friend. So if you wanna know about some of these things, google.com, type in what I'm talking about, G6 mini. You will get some rumors and leaks that come up and um, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I see. You will see what I see. Did I just sing? Let's move on. The Galaxy S8, six gig, 128 gig version is officially gonna be going to Hong Kong. Now we all know about uh, rumors and leaks on things. Um, the Galaxy S8, six gig, 128 gig version, I don't know if it's gonna be an excellent, I, I don't know. I just know that rumors are suggesting that it is gonna officially release in Hong Kong. Uh, and obviously there's no word of the US. We never get all the good stuff. We get what's left over or we whatever they throw us, they throw us a bone, we gotta go get it. Uh, but 128 gig, six gig Galaxy S8. It should be coming to Hong Kong. Um, kind of rumors, official rumors type of deal. You know how it is. Next on the chopping block is a phone that I wanna talk about just like really briefly, only because it just released and it's from Blue, the Blue R1 Plus. Now, the Blue R1 HD was a success for Blue. However, I just feel like Blue has become redundant. They're releasing the same products over and over and over again. We gotta see something new from Blue. We have to. Their products are so redundant, um, it's, it's gotten really old right now. So I won't be, per it was on sale for $110. It just knew it just launched. It launched on the 29th and it went on sale on the 29th. And um, they took 50 bucks off immediately. Regular price is supposed to be 159 and they sold it for $109. Now, check out the specs on that phone. Um, I don't see it as a $100 phone, not at all. I mean, I know it's the R1 Plus, um, but for 100 bucks or $159, I'd rather go dra grab a Moto G4 Plus or, or, or a Moto G4 Play, something along those lines. Um, next, finally, we have information and an almost, an, almost an official release date for the BlackBerry Key One. Somebody give him a hand clap. All right. BlackBerry and TCL have decided to go ahead and release this phone. For whatever reason, they decided to take their time releasing this phone. Um, we don't know as a consumer, as a techie, as a blogger, I don't know why the heck they are taking so long to release this phone. On Twitter, I said it was a fail. I talked about this already. Some people said, oh, well, how is it a fail? It's not even out yet. The timing is way off. The timing is way off, BlackBerry. You're competing with phones that have the same specs that cost half the cost. Enough said, I'm not, gonna drag, I'm not gonna drag that out. Price it right, hurry up, BlackBerry, because that hardware is definitely worth it. Last thing I wanna talk about is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, there's no rumors or anything that I'm gonna talk about with this circulating around, but what I will say is that the Galaxy Note 8 needs to separate itself from the S line. I'm tired of Samsung keeping the S line, you know, the S line is, is like their top sellers, obviously, but the Note line is your superior phone. It's supposed to be the kill all, say all, I'm the top dog. If you bring out the Note 8, Samsung, I'm talking to you, and any tech enthusiasts who like the Galaxy Note line like I do, please join me in the comments and discussion this. If you bring out the Note 8 with these things, it's gonna be a tough sale over the S8 or the S8 Plus if you price it really high. If you bring it with four gigs of RAM, it's gonna be a tough sale. If you bring it with 64 gigs onboard storage, it's gonna be a tough sale to people who have the current model on the S line. They might just say it's just not worth it. Some people might, I've heard people already saying, I'm just buying it just because it's a note and I follow and I rock with the note line. Completely understand. I completely understand. That's your choice. I don't see the motivation to, to now obviously you, you know, you boy, you know I'm gonna, you know I'm rocking with the note. Okay, so there's absolutely no question that I'm rocking with the note. However, a lot of people might not wanna rock with that. You've 
got to make your um, your your note line look superior on paper and in real life and on in person. It's got to be bigger and better than the S8 Plus because reality is the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus thumbs up. Thumbs up. The S8 Plus thumbs up. Why would you sell a person the S8 Plus over the Note 8? Or why would in reverse, why would you sell the Note 8 over the S8 Plus? And this is only suggestion that if they bring it out too close, if they bring it with four gigs of RAM, if they bring it with 64 gigs onboard storage, if they don't upgrade the cameras, if they don't make it look different, there's something. You can't just now keep adding the software suite for the S Pen and making the phones look alike. Got to do something different, Samsung. So I'm hoping that the Galaxy Note 8 brings the thunder. I mean, I hope it has a 6.4 inch display and a compact body. I hope it's wider. You get the S Pen. I hope I get 128 gigs on board, 64 gigs storage, or 64 gigs RAM, 128 gigs on board storage, an option for 256 gig. Give us something that makes it stand out. I don't care if they take away the SD, if they take away the SD card and just give 128 gig models and 256 gig models all in. 256 gig all in. Even if they sell it for $9.99, would you buy a Galaxy Note that costs $9.99? Now, consider the current pricing of the S8. The S8 Plus is $850. The S8 is $750. Let's talk more about the S8 Plus. Would you buy a Galaxy Note that has 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs, or 256 gigs that costs $950? And it's got a 6.4 inch display, a Snapdragon 835, or the latest Exynos processor. No SD card, but you still get waterproof and you get those two memory options. Would you buy that for 950? I would. I would. So Sammy, if you're listening, I hope you see, I hope some of the PR team from Samsung sees this video, which I am. Share it with them, I guess. Share it on Twitter to Samsung. And tell them to fast forward to the last uh, three minutes of the video <laughs> or four or five minutes of the video so we can talk about how great the Galaxy Note 8 really needs to be. Samsung has almost confirmed that it's coming out this year, folks. I got my bread ready. So, Shaman J. Will, Monday smartphone news. I think it's May 1st already. Oh, my gosh. So, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Be sure to leave a very valuable comment. Take care.